travel expenses for Computex 2018, paid for in part by Fractal Design. Yeah, if you haven't seen our coverage of the Fractal Define R6, you should gotta check out our videos on the Define R6. We've done a Threadripper build, we've done an i9 build. It's cool, it's quiet, it's competent, it's a really awesome cache, and you should check out our videos on that. Travel expenses for Computex also paid in part by ASRock. Yes. ASRock, the many PCs and graphics cards, and ASRock's just building everything these days. Whether you swing Team Red or Team Blue, ASRock has got something for you, I think. So be sure to check out our coverage of all of their motherboards, everything from IOMMU groups to full UEFI tours, which I know only the people that are basically getting ready to pull the trigger look at those UEFIs. Everybody else doesn't care. So big thanks to ASRock for sponsoring us and you really should check out our other coverage of, of ASRock products and our coverage from Computex 2018. Oh, Computex, this booth decoration is amazing. I wonder if they would let me get this shipped to America because this looks, it looks like a starship. I, I, I don't know if they had this last year or not. If they did, I didn't notice it. But uh, yeah, I could see decorating my office like this. This could look pretty cool. I mean, look, it's an engineering door. This is pretty nuts. All right. So this is BitPhoenix. I decided to stop by BitPhoenix and see what they've they've got going on. You know, we took a look at the Enso case and we sort of decided that the Enso case was not for you if your CPU's TDP was over like 95 watts. And the first thing that they had to show me were their new RGB fans with an RGB fan controller. Well, the controller is not really new because we took a look at the controller. Remember the RGB on the front of the Enso? But yeah, they've got the fans that have the digital LED strip built in. So motherboard compatible or fan controller compatible and also their power supplies they're showing me upgraded vision and whisper series power supplies all the way from 650 watts to 1600 watts that were available in titanium 80 plus certification so yeah titanium level efficiency that's pretty uh that's pretty substantial not a lot of extra excess waste heat in there next up was lee and lee they're showing off the dynamic O11 and the Air 11. So if we, we did a review on the Dynamic O11. You should check that out if you haven't seen it. They're also showing off their new RGB power cables. So this is really like, this is a, a like a shroud that goes over a power supply extension that they supply. And so there's addressable RGB LEDs. Now it comes with a controller. It's still kind of in the prototype stage, so nothing's really finalized here. But it comes with a controller where you can control the lighting effects. You can also do it, uh, the same kind of thing with your uh, power from your graphics card, but it's not really, it's just white power cables, white sleeved power cables with, you know, uh, like plastic fiber optics on top of it so that you get the RGB effect. Lean Lee's also partnered with Razer. And so Razer has got this pretty cool, you know, rainbow black RGB, whatever. Ra Razer's designers really did take this up a notch. I could see that the aesthetic here is maybe improved a little bit, or at least the, the Razer improvement. They also had a lot of uh, modded versions um, from different modders. They have a, uh, a, you know, a version here with the NVIDIA, uh, you know, tank in the front and they flip the case. It's upside down. So it's still using the, you know, the, the triple radiator cooling, you know, custom loop stuff. And it's the, the NVIDIA green, although I think the NVIDIA green turned out to be just a little sickly, but hey, you know, whatever. Then they've got modded builds in the dynamic PC 011. So if you're looking for mod build ideas, check this out because these are pretty slick looking cases I think and they, they run pretty well this is also one of the quieter booths you know they've got a ton of machines here but it was surprisingly not super loud even with the uh, the giant wall o fans so there's also the land cool one I think I got that right I hope I got that right and it looks like it wouldn't breathe too well on the front but I played with it and it totally does breathe really well it's also got a removable mesh filter in the top you can do the radiator mounting you know 360 280 you know whatever that you might want to run in the top um, for cooling but it'll bring air in from the front and exhaust it out the top or there's vents in the front and the top and the gap for the front panel plastic is actually pretty good so you can actually draw air in around the the rainbow RGB strips as well as the uh, the gap there at the front of the case and that seems like that's going to be enough airflow you get the hidden power supply area at the back and plenty of options for cable management and that kind of thing so kind of neat Lin Lee was also showing off their DK05 desks but 
I've got the Killerist DK05 desk with the modded tempered glass and built-in side panel. So I'm just going to add B-roll of the uh, of my own DK05 desk with the uh, the built-in monitor mounts. They they have not really done anything to address the uh, monitor mounting situation on the on the DK05. If you're going to have a bunch of monitors, you really need to mount it somehow off the back of the desk and there doesn't seem to be an accessory that'll let you do that that doesn't involve sitting it on the glass. I mean, to be sure, tempered glass is really strong, but if you clamp down the tempered glass, uh, removing it's gonna be a problematic. And then, of course, we have the Lee and Lee RGB fans. Like, wall o Lee and Lee RGB fans, because literally everybody is into RGB. I don't know what it is, but there's RGB everywhere. Send help.